If you want to live in Thailand long term, then you're going to need to find a way to earn an income to stay here. And in this video, guys, I'm going to talk about the top jobs for foreigners living in Thailand. Now, I made a similar video to this a couple of years ago, but I wanted to make an updated version because since I made that video, the job market for foreigners in Thailand has significantly evolved. So this is the updated version. And the first point that I want to make, guys, is getting a job in Thailand is not as simple as getting a job in your home country, okay? Your options as a foreigner working in Thailand are fairly limited. Now, the reason being is that the majority of jobs are reserved for Thai people, okay? So you can't just print off a CV, rock into a local bar or restaurant or shopping mall or whatever it is that you do in your home country and apply for a job because the majority of these sort of jobs are reserved for Thai people. There's a list of jobs that foreigners can do. So the chances are you're probably going to have to change the line of work that you do from your home country, okay? So in this video, I'm going to dive into some of the top jobs for expats living in Thailand. And the first one is the same as the last video that I made on this topic. The majority of people that you meet living in Thailand will be teachers. Now, you meet a lot of English teachers, a lot of teachers in international schools. I used to be a teacher myself when I first moved to Thailand. And there are certainly pros and cons to teaching in Thailand. I would guess the pros, or I would say the pros, the positive things, are it's a great way to get set up here in Thailand. In my first year in Thailand, I got a teaching job. They set me up with a visa. They set me up with a work permit. They helped me find a house. They helped me relocate, basically, from the UK. And I was actually a teacher for seven years. So I started off teaching English uh, in a regular Thai school not making a lot of money. However, then I advanced to teaching in an international school. And by the end, I was head of department and I was doing okay. You know, I was on a salary of about 95,000 baht a month and I was getting flights home every year. So it wasn't really a bad gig, but for me, I just didn't really enjoy the actual process of teaching. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. So I, I got out of that back in 2018. However, a lot of people who are living in in Thailand long term are teaching and you need not a lot of qualifications to actually teach in the Thai schools. You'll need a TEFL and a university degree. Now, if you want to teach in the international school, you'll need a couple more qualifications. But that's the first one, guys. Teaching English, it might be, or it might be teaching in an international school. If you want to find jobs teaching, there's a great website called ajan.com. I'll put the link in the uh, description to this video. Video, and there are a variety of teaching jobs on the job lists board that you can search on ajan.com. So that's the first one, teaching. The next one is property or real estate. Now, I've been working in the real estate industry in Phuket for several years, and there is certainly money to be made. There are plenty of foreigners, plenty of expats living not just in Phuket, but in Bangkok, Pattaya, Hua Hin, who are doing very, very well in the real estate industry. Now, the real estate industry in Thailand, it's true to say it's not as heavily regulated as other areas of the world, to put it mildly. So you don't need a license to actually work as a realtor in Thailand. Now, the commissions that can be made are significant. You know, you can be getting five, sometimes six figures commission on those big deals. So it's definitely a good business. It took a hit, it's true to say. A lot of the real estate agents in Phuket really struggled during COVID. A lot of the businesses in Phuket really struggled during COVID. However, the market is certain taking an upturn now and there's plenty of people who are doing very very well as real estate agents not only in Phuket like I say but all around Thailand. 
So that's the, uh, the second one, real estate agents or property agents. The next one is working in a specialized role in a hotel. Now, I see a lot of Russian people working in hotels, possibly as a guest liaison officer. I see quite a lot of them doing that. Quite a lot of them going out uh, on tours, a sort of tour guides and things such as that. As well, chefs in hotels. You, you meet a lot of foreign chefs. Um, I know a Japanese chef who lives over in Phuket. I know a couple of foreign chefs uh, who are from the UK as well, who work in a couple of the big hotels. So working in the hospitality industry is also an option for you. The big hotels will definitely sort you out with a work permit. However, the smaller places, you should make sure that if you are applying for jobs, that they're going to fix you up with a visa and a work permit as well, guys. And the final one that I'm going to talk about today is working online. Now, a lot of people that you meet in Thailand these days are working online, doing the digital nomad thing. Now, some of these people are working jobs online for global companies around the world. I met a guy who was working for a health and fitness startup in Chicago. Yeah, there was, uh, I met one guy who was actually working for the British NHS living in Phuket. So plenty of people are working jobs online. Obviously, plenty of people are running online businesses too, but that online business side of things is a topic for another video. So those are the top four jobs for foreigners in Thailand, guys teaching, real estate, working as a foreign expert in a hotel or working an online job. I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, there's some more resources in the description of this video to a free online business training, an ebook that I put together, and also a Facebook group that you can join to connect with myself and other expats and digital nomads living in Thailand. With that said, guys, Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.